vinyl community, this is Chris. Uh, welcome to my Saturday video. Uh, I recently watched uh, James Griffith's uh, video. He did one uh, 10 underrated guitarists. So, in support of uh, that video, I thought I'd uh, show a few related albums. Uh, but first off, uh, concession to uh, that it's the Christmas season. Um, I ran across this the other day when I was looking through my, trying to organize my cassettes, uh, Modern Folk Quartet Christmas. So very folky versions of uh, standard Christmas songs. Uh, this is from uh, 1990, put out on the uh, uh, Folk Era label. Most of these are standard uh, Christmas type songs or seasonal songs. One I didn't recognize was uh, Ryu Chiyu. So I looked that up and I saw that uh, on YouTube there was a nice version of uh, the monkeys doing that song, a cappella style. So there's a, a Christmas related album. Now, uh, one of the Back to James Griffith's video, one of the uh, guitarists was Bruce Gilbert of Wire and other bands. So here's my one Wire album that I have on vinyl. Everything else is on cassette, or mostly on cassette. I guess I have a couple of CDs, but so this... Uh, Wire, the ideal copy, 1987 on uh, the Mute label. So, licensed by Mute, but this is put out on Enigma. So, Bruce Gilbert. And then post uh, Wire, he did some other projects. Um, Here's one uh, for uh, an installation at an art gallery by Gilbert Lewis and Russell Mills. Or, you know, they're the names on the on there. Waterloo Gallery. So this is 1982, which predates the, that Wire album on uh, Cherry Red. So that, uh, MZUI, the other uh, side is blank, so no need to show that. And I had seen a recent uh, Aaron the Metal Theologian video, and he was showing some uh, Dome uh, albums, uh, which also included Bruce Gilbert, but Here's uh, Bruce Gilbert album, The Shivering. So, though he was uh, listed as guitarist in Wire, these are less guitar oriented, more electronic. Uh, side one. Side two of the Shivering Man. This is a 1986 uh, mute release. So, Bruce Gilbert. <coughs> and <coughs> um, Phil Manzanera was another guitarist that uh, James Griffith had mentioned. So, some Phil Manzanera. Albums, uh, 1975, I think, Diamond Head. On the uh, Atco label. So some of these titles there will uh, show up again in other versions. So that was 75. 
Uh, also, 75, he was involved in this project, Quiet Sun. which includes uh, Charles Haywood on percussion, Bill McCormick, uh, Eno provides some support. So, Quiet Sun album Mainstream on uh, the Antilles label, also 1975. And then uh, the big one, 1976, 801 Live. There you see the, some of the participants, Eno, Francis Monkman from uh, Curved Air. And here they redo some of the titles that uh, we saw earlier on... Uh, Diamond Head, plus some uh, Eno songs, uh, Charles Haywood song. Uh, this is a white label promo on uh, Polydor. That I found, or it seems like I found it around here at an antique mall. Uh, And a follow-up uh, 801 album with uh, some of the same personnel, different track listing. This one's uh, also on Polydor. Listen now. Sort of a custom label. 1977, and in support of that album, uh, he was on a tour, so this is live at Manchester University, February 1st, 1977, so they're playing uh, mostly titles from the 1976 801 live album. out by Expression Records. So again, uh, reduced band and then another uh, follow-up live at Hull University. Uh, I think this was uh, September or October of 77. Just a little cardboard sleeve. And this is also on the expression label. So two 801 albums, uh, concerts from the follow-up, uh, some of, sort of in support of the, uh, the Listen Now album. following year, 1978, this uh, K-Scope is the name of this album, on Red Polydor, Bill McCormick still playing with him. Visible Guitars, 1980, I think, 1982, on Editions EG. And, um, Sort of a side project, The Explorers. This is a 12-inch uh, 
single. He's uh, James Wraith on vocals and uh, Andy McKay from Roxy Music on sax. Virgin. That was eighty four. And a uh, full album by the Explorers. Same lineup. Also on Virgin. 1985 and uh, CD the wasted lands this is uh, music compiled for the film the wasted lands Got the year that this was put out, 1988. Back on uh, expressions like those uh, 801 CDs. And then <clears throat> teamed up with John Wetton from uh, King Crimson and other various uh, bands. This is on Geffen. This was 1987. So two out of the three guitarists. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the last one was uh, Mick Ronson. So I'm not showing the two solo albums that Mick Ronson did. But then shortly after he put those out, uh, this CD or these sessions were just recently released. Well, recently is in 1999. But. Uh, just like this, this is a 2D CD set on uh, Burning Airlines, the Mick Ronson band. And then Showtime, also on Burning Airlines. This was... Uh, Sessions from 76 through 89. Then 1994, 19, yeah, 1994. Heaven and Hall. So I think Mick Ronson was from Hall, England. Put out by uh, Epic. And besides that, uh, you know, his solo stuff, he also guested on a lot of albums, did a lot of the producer work, but uh, a main part of what he did was uh, with Ian Hunter, formerly of Mott the Hoople. And I think Mick Ronson was in uh, Mott the Hoople uh, at the very end of the band. So, Ian Hunter. Self-titled. On this Red Columbia. Mick Ronson on guitars. And 
and then I'll just quickly run through the rest of these. Uh, you're never alone with the schizophrenic. Nineteen seventy nine. I think this was nineteen eighty. Ian Hunter Live, two LP set. There's uh, Mick Ronson there. Ian Hunter Short Back and Sides, nineteen eighty one. And then the last one, we got uh, billing credit. Ian Hunter and Mick Ronson. Why you I order, or however that is uh, pronounced. This was in uh, 1989. Ian and Mick. <coughs> On uh, Mercury. So <clears throat> there's my little follow up to uh, James Griffith's video. I'll leave a, uh, a link to his video in the, the comments below. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Merry Christmas and so forth. Uh, I'll see you later.